guys, my name is Emma and today I'm going to be doing my bullet journal spread for August for the well-being side of my journal. Um, so the first thing I'm doing here is I'm actually setting up my tracker for the MBA that I'm doing this year. Um, so this won't be a regular feature of kind of my monthly spreads, this is a spread all to itself at the beginning of the journal. Um, and I decided to go for a nice kind of rose theme here with some very sort of stylized Macintosh inspired roses. Um, they're really easy to draw, uh, so it's just a circle and then you basically round off a triangle and kind of sort of bring it all through into the centre. Uh, that was a brilliant explanation of that. Amanda Rachel Lees has a really brilliant demo of this and there are a few Instagram uh, photos and videos that I saw that had good demos of these as well, so I'll link everything down below for how to do these roses in particular. So anybody who's watched my book journal will notice that I'm doing kind of something a bit different with my bullet journal. So what I've decided to do is rather than use it for keeping track of a monthly or weekly calendar, um, I'm just using it to focus on some lifestyle changes I want to make and also to organize my reading and my YouTube channel. So at the back of the book is my booktube section which has all of my reading goals and video plans and all that jazz um, and that has got its own video for setting that one up um, and the front of this is kind of a, a lifestyle slash well-being um, journal where as well as tracking my MBA here I'm also going to be doing some stuff like mood trackers, habit trackers and that kind of thing each month. So my MBA does actually go up to either May or June, but I decided to just go up to December here because I wasn't too sure how much space I'd need. I don't know if I'm going to be getting like a new journal in the new year. Um, and I figured just doing it sort of part way would be really helpful. Um, I do actually add a few more details to this that you'll then see in the flip through that I do at the end, including filling out all the information. Um, but I just wanted to leave it nice and blank here. Um, and I basically forgot to film all of that stuff. And it was quite boring. It was just me transferring over all the titles of the various modules. So I didn't think anybody really wanted to see that. Now we're going to move on to August and my first full month for the wellbeing side. And I decided to go for a citrus fruit theme. Um, I did a watermelon theme for the book one. And so I thought citrus fruit would be a good idea. And this is gonna be my plan for most of the months is that they will have a similar theme, um, but with a slightly different kind of main focus. So I just decided to go for some orange and lime and lemon slices here. So this is just me coloring it all in. Uh, as you can see, I'm using mainly Crayola super tips. Is that what they're called? Yes. But then I also have the Putu watercolour brush pen set um, that I used in the last video. And my fine liners are the Shotella pens. Um, and the journal as well is the Scribbles That Matter A5 dotted. I think I called it the A4 in the last um, video I did, but it's the A5. I'll have all of these linked down below as well, um, as always. So if you do want to grab anything, you can. This spread took ages to do, and as you can already see, there is my mistake that I do in every single page. Uh, it's normally these fine liners. I need to chill out. Whoa, that was my head. Apologies about that, guys. Um, and then I went for just simple August written here. I'm really leaning forward in this one. Don't worry, in the next video, I will try and make sure that I have a better idea of where my head actually is and maybe zoom out a little bit. So after doing the circles, I decided to go through and add in some detailing of the individual kind of segments and indeed the individual little sort of pockets of juice as such within those segments. Uh, I did it on one to see what it would look like and then just decided actually I quite like the effect so I would go across and do it all. I then started to regret that because it took forever to do those. and I don't think I actually did them very well because I got bored. Um, this is a lesson learned. I really can't do lots of like intricate detailing on any of these doodles I will get bored halfway through. So this is just me filling these out. There's a blank page the other side and I'm thinking at some point I'll go back in and add like a funky quote of some sort like I did on the book side um, but I don't do that in this video because no inspiration really struck so for now it will just be left blank and maybe in the next one you'll kind of see it already fully finished. These took such a long time. We're nearly there. They also start to look like nines. You can't really see it here because I'm not zoomed in close enough, but I start to really mess up like the basic oval. I went over the lettering because I thought it needed to be a bit more bolded. 
Uh, and now we're going to go on to the mood tracker. So this idea I saw on Instagram and I've linked the original post down below, but I'm sure it's one that lots of people have come up with. So I've decided to um, each individual segment of the orange is going to be a day and I will colour in the segment a different colour based on my mood. Uh, I've never done a mood tracker before or anything like this, but it was advised that I start doing it a couple of months back because I was having some kind of really low days and um, me and my partner thought it'd be good to sort of see if there was a, a clustering effect or, or how often they actually were um, but then I never really got around to actually doing it so I'm really hoping that this now will help me to keep on track with these things. I try and do sort of a, a drop shadow type vibe here and I really don't think it's worked very well but uh, you know the practice the drop shadows in my previous one didn't go very well either um, so it's just something that I really need to work on in the future. From this point on I totally forget about rubbing out anything in the background of like all the pencil marks for um, for any of these spreads but don't worry in the actual flip through uh, I do rub everything out so you can see the finished thing so if the pencil marks are really stressing you out they do go at the end I do promise. There's my mistake as always. I'm definitely gonna have to invest in a better white gel pen. This is the Sakura gel pen in just white nice and simple but it's really not strong enough to handle the sheer amount of mistakes I make. Now we're moving on to the habit tracker side um, and I really didn't know how I wanted to set this up because I wasn't too sure how many habits I'm going to be tracking. There's my head. I really need to dye my hair and learn to sit back. Anyway um, I didn't know how many habits I'd be tracking or exactly what I wanted to do so the page kind of roughly divides to the top half of it being um, a daily habit that I do want to try and do so it's kind of wash my face uh, make sure I'm eating lunch exercise trying to record the days where I don't drink any alcohol and I do try and read every single day and then underneath the habit tracker title is everything related to cleaning in the house um, so we've got some stuff that again needs doing daily or more regularly than just once a week um, and that's uh, up and uh, cleaning out my house habits and then there's kind of some weekly stuff and then there's some individual ones I want to do once a month um, and then I just decided to add in a few limes and kind of go for a green theme because it felt very sort of orange up to this point. I'm really pleased I did all of this in pencil beforehand because I could guarantee you I would definitely have made a ton of mistakes. Final one that we have here is my kind of little wins celebrate every day page. So the idea behind this is you just have two lines and every single day you want to write down something positive that's happened. It's a little bit like a gratitude journal but rather than it being necessarily something that you are grateful for in that day I want this one to really focus on something that I have achieved because I can get really down on myself on days where I don't feel like I've achieved very much but even those little wins are super important. So if all I did was like you know, have a good lunch and do a bit of washing up, then that's fine. If all I did was I ticked two things off my to-do list, that's fine. If all I did was actually chill out and spend some time with my family, that's fine. Like, but I want to, to make a bit more of a record of these things because it's so easy to have like a bad day and then to think to yourself like, oh my God, I never do anything. I'm so unproductive. Um, and I think because I work from home, these low days can be really problematic. Um, so this is just going to help to give me a little bit of perspective um, and keep an eye on tracking my progress, uh, especially in the next few months. I love this spread just because of how colourful it is. I'm really pleased I went for all the different stripe effects. It reminds me a bit of a, like Tropical Twister Lollipop or like a Solero or something. Um, and it just felt so summery and so absolutely perfect for the vibe of this page, which is really just about celebrating everything that you can. And then I just go for some simple lettering here. I'm also really pleased because I didn't mess up any of the colours. I was so, so expecting to like screw up and it to look really strange. But actually, I didn't make any mistakes on this page. And I'm so proud of myself. First page, mistake free. So yeah, so this is the flip through with my finished one. Sorry, it's a slightly different camera style. Uh, so this is my MBA with all the detailing put in. And I put a little rose banner at the bottom. There's the August sign with blank page still. The habit track and everything all rubbed out and that mood tracker ready to go and become more colourful. And then finally, once we get there, my Celebrate Everyday page.